What is matter, antimatter, and dark matter? And the next question is, how does meditation help us understand the composition of the universe? Energy consolidated is matter. Matter getting back to its energy state is antimatter. And dark matter is which has everything in it but doesn't appear. That is dark matter. In the Rig Veda, it is said, in the beginning the darkness was covered by darkness. And this line was not understood by anybody. Philosopher, they said, oh, must be something. And great scholars thought they could not understand. But today when scientists say, it is the dark matter and dark energy that was enveloping the whole universe and that's why all the heavenly bodies look spherical. The energy around the sun is so thick and so powerful, so big and that's why sun looks like this in a spherical shape, like in a bottle of water if an air bubble is trapped, the air bubble is is round, is spherical. Right? In that, that means the water pressure makes the uh, air bubble spherical. Similarly, the dark matter's pressure is making sun appear spherical. That means what you don't see is much more powerful than what you see. Are you listening? What you don't see is much more powerful than what you see, and this is what our ancient people have said all the time. Avyakta dini bhutani, vyakta madhyani bharata. Lord Krishna said in Gita, the unmanifest is the cause of this manifest. This manifest is only the middle, unmanifest surrounds them. And all the manifest will also get back to the unmanifest. <laughs>